a taste of peace. The Law K Kaul resettlement village near Myanmar's border with Thailand was built to house mostly ethnic Karen, displaced by conflict between ethnic armed groups and the Myanmar military. Many had fled to Thailand over the past decades. But since 2016, some of them have been returning home, driven partly by dwindling funding for refugee camps in Thailand and the prospects for peace in Myanmar. Those who've gone back, however, find that life is just as difficult. The most urgent needs for me now are rice and charcoal. I would buy food, but I have no money now. Work is hard to come by. Walso was one of the first to be resettled here, after living as a refugee in Thailand for eight years. If they improve facilities and expand them, then the village will be better. As for jobs, it depends on the local government how they will manage it for us. A donor organization has set up an agriculture center to train villagers and provide employment. We can't take care of everything. Refugees who move back have to help themselves too. We already provide housing, water and electricity. Saw Pattaya is the village chief and right now he has his hands full. The water pump has broken down and there's not enough drinking water to go round. Plans for another group of refugees to return this month have been put on hold. Which is just as well, says Norle Po, who's been living in a refugee camp in Thailand for nearly 10 years. I don't think I want to go back right now. I want to work on the Thai side and save more money. But with funding cuts affecting camps in Thailand, that decision may not be hers to make. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.